Greetings. To allow us to talk to computers, to get computers to do what we want, it helps to be able to think like a computer. Modern practical digital computers, as you know, are built around logic circuits that work on binary values, with the binary values of 1 and 0. The strings true and false are how OU build represents true and false. Other programming languages may use different implementations but they all have some form of what are generally called Boolean values. For this reason, Boolean values underlie computing. Binary decisions, ones and zeros, can be thought of as equivalent to true and false. Let's look at some Boolean blocks in OU Build and how they can help us to create programs. We find Boolean blocks in the operators palette. You can test blocks like this. Just double click on the block to test it with various inputs. Boolean blocks are used to check conditions that determine what actions to take next. What is executed next is conditional on the value reported by the Boolean block. Hence they're also sometimes referred to as Boolean conditions or if the context is clear just conditions. The touching colour block is found in the sensing palette and it's another example of a boolean block. Like the other boolean blocks, the touching colour block reports either true or false according to whether or not a particular condition holds at the moment the block is run. They're also reporter blocks and are distinguished by their hexagonal shape from other reporter blocks. Click on the colour square to get an eyedropper and select a colour on the stage that you want the sprite to sense. Now, depending on whether the sprite is touching the chosen colour or not, the touching colour block reports true or false. Well, that's all for now. In part two, we'll look at using selection blocks to make things happen on the stage in response to the choices of Boolean blocks used in if-then and if-then-else blocks. Thanks for watching.